Let's talk about Shen. Shen is often translated as spirit, and it's a pretty good translation. Um, it is one of the energies that we use within the internal alchemy process, and Taoist cultivation in general. Uh, today we're going to look at what Shen is, um, look at the different kinds of Shen. Um, we're also going to look at how it fits into our practice, both with Taoist cultivation in general and specifically for um, internal alchemy. The three internal treasures. The three internal tre treasures are uh, is a fancy way <laughs> of talking about energies inside the body that we use for internal alchemy practice. Uh, the three treasures are Jing, Qi, and Shen. Uh, Jing is usually translated as essence, uh, Qi as energy, and uh, Shen as spirit. Uh, Jing, Qi, Shen are the substances that we work with uh, throughout the alchemical process. Uh, and they're, 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 um, they're key to the practice. Uh, now, the first thing to, to, to realize, to pay attention to, is that they are all forms of qi. They're all forms of energy. And they exist upon a, um, a continuum. Um, at the bottom, the, 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 the roughest, uh, <laughs> crudest form, frequency of, of qi is jing. And jing is the, the energy that's associated with the physical body. Uh, it's what supports physical processes in the body um, and supports the structure of the body. Uh, we move up from, from Qing, we arrive at Qi, uh, and which is a, a finer form of, of, of energy inside the body that we work with. And then if we keep uh, going up to a higher frequency, um, a more pure, subtle uh, frequency, we get to Shen, uh, which is what we're going to talk about today. And yeah, so Shen is, is often translated as spirit, and I think that's a good translation. Um, it's very tricky to translate these terms. They don't translate exactly. Um, and so I generally just keep, sh I just say, I'll just say Shen for this talk. But what I mean is, is I guess something you call it spirit. However, if you are thinking of this as spirit, then it's important to, to, to there's a few distinctions that you might want to keep, keep in mind. One for the Taoists, it's all about qi, it's all about energy. Uh, and so we're talking about a form of energy. Uh, second, Shen, um, the foundation of Shen is the physical body. Uh, so that means um, it, it comes into existence when, the, when you're conceived in the, in your, in the mother's womb, uh, and it uh, begins to dissipate and, and finally disappear after your death. Once the physical body is dead, uh, then the Shen will disappear. So it's not uh, an eternal part of us that um, passes, um, if you believe in reincarnation, transmigration of the soul and all that, uh, it's not that, right? So this is, it is an embodied thing and it's uh, temporal to an extent. We'll talk about original Shen in a, in a moment. Um, for, uh, there is another energetic um, energy that is a part of our being called Ling. And that is eternal. The Ling is what comes into our body at conception and leaves our body um, after the body dies. So when Ling comes into the body, it fuses with the Shen. And so Shen Ling, uh, the two become fused together. Uh, and I think that itself is probably what we think of as spirit here in, in, in the West. I'm not very um, I'm not very confident with Western esoteric traditions. I, I'm not sure about their terminology. But in terms of from the Chinese perspective, um, these two come together and they work together. So in today's talk, let's just set aside Ling. Ling, Ling is, is, is fascinating, but it's, it's another discussion on its own. Uh, let's just look at Shen. Now, Shen um, is energy, um, but it's it takes time to experience, right? So what I love about working with qi and what I love about the Taoist tradition is we can experience um, these different things. We're not just talking abstractly about things, right? We're talking about stuff that um, that we can experience, and we, and from um, and and from that experience comes our our understanding and knowledge, right? Uh, 
And so Shen can be experienced, experienced as a, as a kind of energy. It's a very fine um, frequency of energy um, that's connected with consciousness, with our awareness. And so to work with Shen, uh, we often pair it with Yinian. Yinian is awareness. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Yinian before we get into, into the, the Shen stuff. So uh, Yinian is very important for Taoist uh, cultivation, at least within internal alchemy that I've learned from, from my teacher. Um, and uh, all these terms have very specific meanings within for the Taoists. And a lot of those meanings are secret, uh, hidden meanings, right? And so Yinian is, a, 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 if you ask a, a modern Chinese person walking down the street, what's Yinian, they'll, know, they'll have an idea of what it is, right? It's sort of awareness or whatnot. But for the Taoists, there's specific meaning um, to both the term Yinian and its constituent parts. So Yinian is made up of two characters. One is Yi and the other is Nian. Put those two together and we have basically awareness. If we break them apart, um, and it's, it, don't think um, um, binary here, right? So e, e and Yin exist together. Think analog, right? Uh, it's on a continuum, but E is probably what we translate as intention in English. It has direction and movement. Um, it's the direction and movement part of awareness, of yin yin, right? Um, it's the yang of awareness. The yin of awareness is the nian. Nian is a passive form of awareness. Maybe at attention would be a better uh, term. Um, or maybe just awareness, right? So it's has no direction, it has no um, uh, movement. It's just a passive field of awareness. That we, uh, that we can put on something, right? So right now I'm, I'm talking to you uh, through my iPhone. <laughs> I'm recording this on my iPhone and you're on the other side of that. It's some future time looking at a screen, right? So for both of us, our Yinian, my Yinian is on my iPhone and your Yinian is on the screen, right? And so um, when E and Yin are together, they, um, you know, we have some direction. So I have my intention of focusing there, but it's also a field um, of, of awareness. Um, and so that's Yin Yin. Now we can use Yin Yin um, um, with Shen. So uh, a long time ago, there's this fellow named uh, Lu Dongbin, and uh, he is an important um, um, one of the founders of of, uh, of my of the lineage of the Longmen Pai, the Dragon Gate lineage. Um, he's uh, he's one of the five patriarchs of the lineage. Anyway, so he 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 wrote some texts, or at least there's some texts that are attributed to him. Um, and uh, one of them is there's a there's a famous line. Uh, Yi dao shen dao shen shen dao qi dao, and it just means when when the e arrives, the shen arrives. When the shen arrives, the qi arrives. Now, if you're familiar with uh, tai chi or internal martial arts, there's a saying um, where the e uh, goes, the the chen the qi follows, and that's a shortened version of this this more f the, this longer version, the, the full version. There's a middle um, piece, and that is the shen, right? So. So what is is where you put your e? You put your e somewhere. So I'm going to put my e onto the onto the the camera. No, let's move my hand. I think you can see my hand from there. So I'm going to look at my look at my hand. Put my e on my hand. Now as soon as I put my e on my hand, my shen is going to begin to pull around my hand. It's going to go to my hand, right? Remember, shen is energy. It's a kind of high frequency energy associated with consciousness. And as my shen begins to pull there. Qi will begin to form there as well, right? If if um, if I have a lot of qi, um, so that's how it works. So often with shen, we work with awareness first. We use our awareness to allow the shen to follow. Uh, so even if we can't feel our shen, um, there'll be shen there. the The issue is um, it won't might not be that clear. Right? So for Shen to be really effective in our own practice, it needs to be clear. It needs to be Qing. It needs to have purity and clarity. And, uh, and that just takes time as practitioners to develop. The, the easiest way to develop uh, our Shen to become more clean and clear is by cultivating um, Qing 
uh, energy and, and jing and qi. The more jing we have, the clearer our shen will be. But it also goes the other way. So the more, uh, the more um, we can work with, we can also work with shen uh, to create qi and to create jing. And so with my teacher, uh, Wang Liping, that's exactly what we do. Um, in, in our um, system of, of Taoist practice, uh, we do sitting meditation and we have specific techniques and methods that work to bring um, our awareness back to our body. And remember, when we bring our awareness somewhere, our shen is going to follow. And so we close our eyes, go into a session, and initially, before we even do any, um, any of the fun stuff or, or even internal alchemy, we, we just start by bringing back the shen, call it gui uh, shen or shen gui. Um, and those are, those are different. I'm not going to get into those the, 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 for this talk. Um, it's a rabbit hole. Uh, so um, we bring the shen back to the body, right? And we need the mind needs to be needs to be still, right? So xin jing shen gui, so that the mind stills and the spirit returns. The spirit returns to the body um, because uh, it it gets dispersed through our daily life. When a turbulent mind um, going through, um, we, we exist in a physical body. We exist in a three dimensional um, um, world. And there are certain things that we need to do, uh, and there are certain stresses that happen to us, and that disperses our shen, right? And so when we go into a session, we need to bring the shen back to us, reclaim it um, from where it's gone, right? It's gone out into the world, it's connected onto um, people, events, things. It's, it's tied up in our past, right? So if you have, a mem if you have memory sites in your past, um, they can hold shen there as well. And that's, that's energy, right? That's energy that, that's, that's bound up in the past. It's not here in the present. And so a lot of our, our process of cultivation is cleaning all that up, bringing our shen back to the present moment. And we do that um, in a session just by focusing on the body. And at more advanced levels, focusing inside the body in what we call the um, the nei qiang, the, the inner cavity. Uh, if we can focus our awareness in that, and, and there's some specific practices we can do to help with that, including body pore breathing and, and uh, nei qiang, who we see the the inner cavity breathing. We bring it's a great way of getting our awareness back, bringing the shen back, um, consolidating our the three treasures, starting with the shen. In our body, right? We need to consolidate and accumulate the three treasures to have success with with our internal alchemy. Um, and the more shen we have inside, the more qi we'll have inside. The more qi we'll have inside, the more jing we'll have inside. And once we have a lot of jing inside, we, if we do that enough, we'll get um, we'll be able to feel the vibration of the jing energy. Uh, then we can have a substance. Once we have a substance inside. Um, uh, then we can start actual internal alchemy, the, the, the real internal alchemy stuff. Um, until then, we, we, don't, we don't have enough, uh, we haven't built enough foundation to do that work. Uh, and so um, Shen is an important part of, of building foundation. Shen is also an, um, used in advanced um, um, alchemy as well, um, as well as a, pract um, uh, um, a host of practices <laughs> under the umbrella of something called Shen Gong. And uh, Shen Gong, you've heard of Qi Gong probably. Uh, it's, it's the Shen equivalent. So instead of Qi practice or Qi work, it's Shen work, right? Spirit work, spirit, spirit practice. Um, and it's, it's pretty high level stuff, um, lots of fun, but in, you, wanna, you wanna be pretty grounded in your, in your body, in your practice, um, because it can get a little dangerous. Um, so you need, to be, you need to have a good foundation for it. Um, so Shen Gong is, is stuff we do usually later, but with, like I mentioned, with Wang Liping, we start right away with the Shen as well, right? And go down, create the three treasures, and then come up again. Um, now, there are different kinds of, of Shen, right? Let's talk about different kinds of Shen. Um, so what happens when we start bringing the Shen back to the body as it returns to the physical body uh, from wherever it's been, you know, it's been tied up in these different things. Uh, we bring it back. Um, that 
shen that we're bringing back is, is a certain kind of shen. It's called uh, shi shen. Um, shi means to, basically means to recognize. And it's the shen that's associated with our senses, our sense organs. Um, and so our sense organs are, 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 are most of them are in our, our, our head. Uh, of course, we have touch, and, and there's another one as well that are arrayed outwards, and that um, projects our shirshen. Uh, and and shirshen is um, post heaven uh, um, part of shen. Oh, um, and uh, Ho Tian. Um, and I'm not going to get too much into post heaven and pre heaven in this talk, but if you're familiar with those terms, then Shi Shen is just the, the post heaven version of your Shen. It's, excuse me, the post heaven part. And um, it's, it, it, what that basically means is it exists in time and space and it's under the laws of entropy. It's running down over time, right? That's the, what we call post heaven uh, or, or um, postnatal. Um, so we have our, our senses are arrayed outwards. They're they're and, and that's a good thing. We we want to have we want to be you know if you're driving your car and there's a red light you you want to be able to see the red light put on the brakes. I mean it's it's, it's helpful, right? Um, the the problem is and it's not really a problem, but what we want to do as practitioners is we want to consciously deploy our shirshen. If our shirshen is is just Blah. It's just out there all the time, and we have no sense of our own self, our own body, um, and it's leaking out all the time. Then we're just losing, we're losing, our, we're losing energy, right? It's depleting us, um, and it's, it'll cause um, mental disturbances um, and yada yada. Part of our process is bringing that shirshen back to the body, right? Sealing up what we call the seven um, upper openings. Um, the, you know, you can count them. <laughs> two eyes, two nose, you know, mouth, two ears. And, and there's specific practices that we, we will practice to, to seal, energetically seal that up. Keep the senses inside our body. Um, um, there's a lot of stuff we can do with that within. And if you're interested in the actual practices, check out my online course and my, my book. There's my chance to plug my stuff. Um, and of course, there's other teachers out there doing their thing as well. Um, so it's different. there are specific methods and techniques which we'll use. So we bring that shirshen back to the body, right? Seal up those um, sense organs. The shirshen is inside. Now what happens with uh, the shirshen is not only does shen, can shen create qi and jing, but the more we accumulate and consolidate our shirshen inside our body, um, we become very present. So not just spatially, but um, temporally as well. So we bring, you know, we're not thinking about what happened yesterday or thinking about what we're going to do tomorrow. We're, we're mentally very present in the moment. So that's temporally. Our, our shirshen comes into the present moment. Um, and then we're not thinking outside of our body or at least not outside of the training room, right? So we're not thinking about, you know, um, where our car is or, 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 or our office at work or whatever that is, we're, we're bringing our, our, our shirshen back, that energy back, spatially and temporally. And on a side note, um, right now your shirshen is with me. So by, by, by watching this talk, I hope it's valuable, but do know that you know, you, you are use, your shen is leaving, you're depleting. But the more we look at screens in our life, like screen time, it, it depletes our shen for sure. At least it increases uh, another kind of shen, but more on that later. Um, so once we've consolidated that sure shen inside the body, then something really interesting happens. That pro what, what happens is we, pr we process, we transition from sure shen to yuan shen. So remember, Shir Shen is spirit of recognition. It's um, post heaven. We go to Yuan Shen, which is original spirit, and that's pre heaven or prenatal, um, depending on how you're looking at it. And that's the good stuff. That's what we want. We want to accumulate Yuan Shen, right? The original spirit. Um, and the more we can accumulate that spirit, that gives us um, power in our own practice um, and in our own life. Uh, it's, it's a very powerful process. And that's the, that's the stuff we want. Um, Yuan Shen can then accumulate inside the body. Um, on a side note, uh, 
working from Yuan Shen 100% of the time is one of the main goals of Tao's practice, and that's when you're a master. I'm not a master. Um, when you get there, that's when you become a master. And it's, it's the same goal as sort of Buddhists, would call, Buddhists would probably call enlightenment um, or you know, returning to the Tao. It's a, it's a big one, right? Where you're not, um, you're not operating from your Shishen anymore. At least you're 100% you're consciously operating from Yuan Shen. You can still exist in the world, but it's um, your Shishen is not ruling you. You're ruling your Shishen when you do deploy your senses. Um, so the Yuan Shen is, is, very, uh, is a very um, powerful substance that we want to develop and, and consolidate. Uh, and, and that just, we do that in every moment. We have a choice, right, in every moment. Now, Yuan Shen can also be split apart. Split's not the best word, right? Because it's, it's always, with Taoist stuff, it's always analog, continuum, right? It's not, it's usually not binary. Uh, and so the Yuan Shen can, we can also look at a, a yang aspect and a yin aspect of the Yuan Shen. And um, those two aspects are, um, well, uh, are rightfully termed <laughs> the yin shen and the yang shen. And um, we can use both of those um, to do things as well. Uh, just, I won't go too much into those two aspects, but briefly, yin shen is, is, is what we use when we dream. So if, you're in a, if you, when you go to sleep at night and you dream, uh, from the Taoist perspective, when we dream, we are actually traveling to places and meeting people. Um, in other dimensions and, and whatnot. And that's our yin shen that, that leads our body and has all that dream stuff. We can also use our yin shen uh, consciously. Um, and, then of, uh, um, and then spirit travel, which is a part of, the, of, of, um, of internal alchemy and Taoist alchemy uh, and what Wang Liping teaches. Um, it's, it's quite high level stuff, um, but we use the yin shen and the yang shen to, to do spirit travel. Now, if you can spirit travel with your yang shen, that's the, that's the, that's the cool stuff. So that's shen in a, in a nutshell. And it's, it's a really big part of what we, what we practice with, uh, with Wang Liping. Um, and we use it all the time. And there's a high level of practice called the level of Shen Yi. And that's when we have uh, Yi is like Yi Nian, uh, awareness and Shen together. And we just use that to, um, to get things done, right? As opposed to using the body or Jing and Qi, we just use Shen Yi. And it's sort of the, the top level of internal alchemy. Um, and there's a lot of really interesting practices with that. But to get there, your Shen needs to be really clear. Um, and, and so it has some power. Uh, and, and to do that, you got to go through the whole process, uh, um, and especially working with the Ting and the Qi. Yeah, so there you go. Shen 101. Thanks. <laughs>